so have you. Thank you. Uh, the farmer's main job is to produce food. Sometimes uh, he can produce energy as a byproduct by of that food. For example, sugar beet that goes to a sugar beet factory. It's possible uh, to make ethanol out of the, the waste pulp. However, if you do that, you can't turn that pulp into animal feed. So th there's a loss there. The same again with cereals. The, the main use for the cereals is for food, and the straw can be used for energy. But if you remove the straw from the farm and take it to an energy plant, you're then losing organic matter to put back into your land. So there's a loss there. Food waste is probably the best idea uh, because it is a genuine waste, and one or two plants are going up in my region, and uh, that appears to work quite well. But then we get onto this subject of energy crops, where a farmer grows a crop purely for energy. And this is a major scandal. If you just look at the planting of maize, first of all, the seed has to be purchased, and that uh, required energy in its own pr production. It then has to be planted into land that has to be ploughed and established like that. Uh, the machinery needed to do it all consumes large quantities of diesel. Then, of course, there's a fertilizer that's applied to that crop, which uses, again, uh, oil. Uh, then you have the pesticides. Then, of course, you have the harvesting with a multi-chop forage harvester that absolutely drinks diesel. The tractors and trailers running alongside. They have to go perhaps 30 miles to uh, a, 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 an energy um, unit there to get rid of it. That's all uh, fuel used as well. Uh, then you've got the problems with the, uh, the, the runoff uh, from the harvesting. This is a major scandal. I understand that six times as much en energy can be needed to produce such crops than they actually ultimately provide. But farmers can, of course, help reduce the energy needed to produce crops. But here again, the green lobby makes life as difficult as it possibly can. Because they're, if they're able to use GM technology and glyphosate, they can really hugely reduce the energy needed to establish crops. And yet, again, it, life is made very d difficult for them. It interests me that the highest concentrations of CO2 that's supposed to be our biggest enemy are found above the equatorial rainforests of South America and Central Africa, where the CO2 sits trapped under that other big greenhouse gas, water vapour. So if you really want to do something about these greenhouse gases, you're going to have to do something about rainforests, and nobody is going to do that. Just forget all about this. Value our CO2 because it is an essential plant food. There's very little of it, and we need it badly. Thank you.